Have you wondered about things like fluoride, amalgam, natural remedies, holistic dentistry? Have you wondered what is really true, what you can believe? Well, let's get into some of these myths, just basically straight talk about all of them. Let's start with fluoride because this is a big one. There is so much debate on both sides of this issue. Some say that fluoride is absolutely necessary to keep teeth healthy, and others say fluoride is terrible and will kill you. Where is the truth? Well, honestly, it's somewhere in the middle. What we do know is that fluoride is very good at strengthening teeth and preventing tooth decay. However, fluoride also affects every other cell in the body, as does every single thing you put in your body. This is called a side effect. It's going to affect everything, whether you want it to or not. Some of the side effects are thyroid changes, are brain changes in children, especially neurodevelopmental issues, bone changes, hips, brittle bones, those kinds of things. Well, fluoride actually isn't in teeth. And when you're getting a cavity, what's happening is acid on the tooth, either from bacteria eating sugar or acid itself, it pulls minerals out of the tooth. It creates a hole, bacteria crawl into the hole, eat more sugar, create more acid and make a deeper hole. And this is a cavity. What came out to make the cavity? Minerals, not fluoride. So here's what I asked myself as a dentist. Fluoride does make teeth stronger. It's proven, it's true. However, it creates a lot of other side effects. Fluoride isn't the thing that the tooth lost when it started to get a cavity. What did it lose? It lost a mineral called hydroxyapatite. So can we just put the hydroxyapatite back in? And the answer is yes. So fluoride does strengthen teeth. However, it causes so many other side effects that I am not comfortable with, especially because we have an alternative. The alternative is hydroxyapatite, which is simply the mineral teeth are made of. Why would we choose to do something that never was in the tooth to begin with versus something that actually did come out of the tooth and we just need to replace? So the fluoride alternative is hydroxyapatite. It is as good or better than fluoride at strengthening teeth, remineralizing teeth, and it doesn't have all of the negative side effects. To me, it's a no brainer. Let's just go with hydroxyapatite. All right, second myth, holistic dentistry. What's the buzz about this? And is it really backed in science at all? So let's talk about this. As a dentist that I like to call health-based or health-focused, that's what I am, I actually have to be more backed in science than any other kind of dentists. Why? Because so many people question me. They say, well, show me why you don't believe in fluoride. You know, going right off of that last one we just talked about, show me why. And so I will show them the latest in research, including two brand new research articles that were published in just the last couple of months talking about fluoride. Now, your regular general dentist, they have no idea about these studies. They don't have to defend what they do, but we do. So the holistic dentists are actually going to be at the cutting edge of everything in science when it comes to dentistry. We understand more than other dentists because we have to research. And our focus is really, how does this affect you? So we want to make sure that we're giving you the right answers. So is it backed in science? Absolutely. In fact, much more so than just general dentistry. And I can say this because I practiced that kind of dentistry for 10 to 15 years, you know, before I really switched over full steam ahead to do what I'm doing now. I study more now, I research more now, and I know more now than I ever did then. That goes to the next th question, myth. Are all natural remedies, are all things, you know, natural or holistic good for you? Not necessarily. Just like nothing is always good for you no matter what. So one of my favorite examples is lemon juice in water, lemon water. This has been touted as this fabulous way to alkalize your body, right? Well, it's true, it does. Right first thing in the morning, you drink lemon water, your, wa your body's alkalized. So people will say, well, a little bit's good, a lot bit is better. That's not true. If you're drinking lemon water all day long, you literally are dissolving all of that hydroxyapatite or minerals in your teeth all day long. So it is not good just in any way, shape or form. So I really recommend for anything that you're doing from a health standpoint in any way, natural or just traditional medicine, is that you evaluate it and say, does this make sense? And if a little is good, is a lot better, or is it just a little is good? So really evaluate it from a, does this make sense standpoint? Because not everything is actually great for you when it comes to natural. 
and vice versa. All right. Another one of the debates that I've often heard is about mercury fillings or what are commonly called amalgam or silver fillings. Just in fact, last week I saw a patient and he's an older gentleman. He's a chiropractor. And so he, he was very knowledgeable. He knew more than I did about a lot of things. And he said that he had gone to a dentist recently and this dentist said, you have to have a mercury filling. And he was you know, questioning this and he said, well, aren't those dangerous? He goes, oh no, they used to be, but they're not anymore. <laughs> That's so not true. Mercury or amalgam fillings are the exact same today. I mean, they have a few little chemical tweaks, but very little. The exact same proportion of mercury today as they were in the 1800s. They're 50% mercury today. There is no reason that you need a mercury filling. Absolutely ever. Never a reason. There are alternatives that do not include mercury. So don't let anyone tell you that. If they do, go find another dentist because there are alternatives that can be used in any situation that don't include mercury. The last one that I want to talk about is, can you reverse cavities? Can you regrow teeth? Can you heal anything? This is a big one in this kind of natural health or holistic dental world. The answer is, is it all depends on how deep the cavity is. We talked about hydroxyapatite and how it can remineralize the tooth. The key is the depth. If the cavity is still in the outside or enamel layer, it absolutely can be remineralized. Use hydroxyapatite tooth powder, mouthwash. We use supplements minerals inside as well, which are tooth and bone formula, vitamin D and vitamin K, those will help to remineralize a tooth. But once the cavity has gone to the inside layer, the dentin of the tooth, that is too deep and you are going to require dental intervention in order to be able to take care of that. We have to remove that decayed portion and fill over that. Why? Because that part of the tooth has a super highway of tubes and it takes that bacteria everywhere. Hopefully this is helpful. I really wanted to get into some of these myths, clear them up, debunk them, and show you how you really can take control of your health and your dental health by just knowing a little bit about the science and about the way things work. Thank you so much for letting me share.